good horror movies for me are ones that scare me in ways that I don't necessarily know that I could be scared. So they might not necessarily be a horror movie. Blood Simple is a movie where you watch it and I you love don't know. You're just like, what? It's just weird. I love Blood Simple. I yeah. love and 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 Hidea. He is. He's disgusting. He's no. He's, In that movie, he's just he plays I such feel a. Feel so bad. I know, for but, him. but but I he feel plays. So bad for but him. he plays like such a. He's so he's so sweaty. He just goes in it. And I feel so bad for yeah, him. Yeah, you can't. Honestly, of I, course. But it's just every every character in that movie has their own point of view, and it's just but the you can horror feel for each of person. that moment that when M. Emmett is with the lights when, off when Come he's on. shooting the wall. Oh and yeah. And those lights are coming in, and yeah. then he's like a. It turns into a monster movie. Yeah. You could look at a movie like Night of the Hunter, and it's not necessarily a scary movie. No, that's a scary movie. But there are moments where I am genuinely petrified. You know, when they're on that when they're on that river, and there's the singing, and there's that music, and if you don't, there's those close-ups of those animals. I'm frightened, but I'm I don't know why I'm scared, but I'm just scared. It's just a deep emotional vibration where it's like I want this to end. And I wanted to keep going, and then Robert. Yeah, you add Robert Mitchum to it, and he, his realism. The movie's so he, beautiful, too. Yeah, though, so and it's, can, it's tricking you. It's yeah. so beautiful, but then again, there's these moments where you have the, Robert Mitchum singing that song, leaning, leaning. And it's like I'll listen to that song, and I'll get it'll put me back in that spot of, of him kind of catching up to these kids. <laughs> Videodrome to me is like one of the one of the best films ever made. It really is. I mean, it's just and hit the prophecy element of it, especially now looking back. Long live the new flesh. It's deep. It's a very deep movie, and it's unbelievably scary. And James Woods in that movie. James Woods is one of my favorite actors. But to see him in that movie and think of who he is in 2017 and how he's kind of like shifted into this kind of political figure, you can imagine that character, Max Wren. You can imagine him like kind of having a Twitter account after going through and seeing the, you know, the, the true colors of, of, of society. And I don't know, there's something, uh, there's something so twisted and eerie. I mean, Existence as well, uh, the, 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 the Cronenberg film, Existence, Scanners too, they're all dealing with this like deep, deep untrust with like how life is presented and how you can kind of usurp them with, with art in a weird way. And, and, but at the same time, it will destroy you. The, the, I mean, that's Cronenberg. Yeah. I mean, he's wholly uh, unsettling, but in a way that really titillates me. It's like watching Videodrome, I feel like I am Max Ren finding the Videodrome in a weird way. It's like, it, you know, it's just one for, of those for, original visions. Yeah, with it, with me, it's, it's Polanski a lot. It's like I don't expect to be scared, and then I am beyond frightened. Yeah. Like there's a moment... There's a moment in Repulsion where I remember watching it for the first time. Oh, my God, the mirror moment? Yeah, yeah and I yeah, went, so she, she closes the door, and there's just a guy in the mirror, and I, I stopped the movie. I got up, and I said, okay, I need to leave and just experience life, and then I'll come back to the film. I couldn't continue watching it. I was that scared. And it, I've never had that happen where I was just like, oh, my God. It was just so frightening. I like that feeling. I like exp being kind of... Pulled out. I like feeling like I have access to something that, you know, my 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 brain won't normally allow in a strange way. I don't know if that makes sense. I like that. I don't know why. I like feeling that way. I like feeling like I have. It's a taps into a voyeurism. You're getting it's just like you're vo you're you're a voyeur on an emotion. You know I, what like, I mean, I it's like a really. There's a different. I I like being caught off guard in a way, like thinking I'm going to be experiencing this, and then all of a sudden not feeling something different. Because it's like if you go. But at the same time, yeah, you go and you know that you're going to experience something. You're wait, you're waiting for it. You're waiting for it, and then it could still catch you off guard. <laughs> 